Hey everybody, it's Emmy. I'm back. I'm back, um, eating more countries. Like I mentioned in my, uh, Emmy Eats Netherlands part one, there is part two. So I received another package from another wonderful viewer. Um, she asked to be called Prim. What's really cool about her package was she sent me a bunch of sweets, of course, um, but she also sent me a little kit. So. Tompuzen? Tompuzen? some kind of pudding and like kind of like a biscuit with a um, glaze on top so um, there'll be another follow-up video to this video um, that will include how to make how I made that and then I'll taste it of course but today is just a short quick one um, man of prof rice mm, sorry oh and when I open it I expect it because it's so colorful to be like fruity pebbles or have that kind of fruity smell but it doesn't. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at all those different colors. That's what it looks up looks like up close. Wah! Wow, that's totally wacky. It's not puffed rice at all. It's candy. Gosh, and it's so sweet. Wow. Maybe it was puffed rice at one time, but doesn't taste like it. So these all have the same flavor. Um, they don't really have um, a fruity flavor at all. It's just sweet. Uh, more like a crust. Not really a crisp. And um, there's a slight rice flavor. Interesting. I don't think I really like it so much because it's so sweet. But uh, maybe there's some special way to eat this. I'm discovering as I eat more and more of these candies, people are telling me there's a specific way to eat them. But if <laughs> if I'm if I don't receive instructions on how to eat them in the first place, then I won't know. So therefore you're gonna have to excuse if I don't eat it properly. But gosh, this is a huge bag. So do do you Dutch eat them by the handful? How do you guys eat them? Maybe you just eat them a little at a time, or maybe mixed with something. I don't know tell me. This is made by a company called Old Dutch and they're called Butter Waffles. Here's one up close. So it looks like just like a hard candy. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> that's yummy. It's butterscotch. That's really yummy. I like that a lot. I haven't had that flavor in a long time. In the States we have lifesavers that come in a roll and this is like the buttered rum or butterscotch flavor. It's a butter, it's exactly that. It's like a butter caramel. Next we have another henna. Look at this, fudge vanilla. Hmm. Hmm. That's yummy. That's the texture. So the texture is kind of similar to krofki, but Krofki was a little bit more crumbly. This has a slightly more chew to it. This tastes more like vanilla. But to me, as an American, do you know what this tastes exactly like? Exactly? Candy corn. I have this kind of candy that um, you have during Halloween, and it's shaped kind of like a piece of corn. And it tastes exactly like that, and it has a very similar texture. Very, very, very sweet. Um, Candy corn is kind of garish. It's got three different colors. It's bright orange, white, and yellow. And you see it, it I mean, it's the epitome of, of the holidays, the fall and of, of Halloween, so I can't diss it too much, but that's what this tastes like. Um, but this, this seems so much more refined, but same flavor. <laughs> I should have looked this up. I don't know what it means. Okay, my Dutch viewers, tell me what this means. Something about I something I love, but mmm, yummy, yum, yum, yum. That's really good. So there's tons of milk in that, but it's not overly sweet. That's my biggest criticism of a lot of milk chocolate. It just tends to be too sweet. I love the mouthfeel of milk chocolate. It melts, and it's not so crunchy, and um, it has a richness to it. 
but to me milk chocolate tends to be way too sweet. Um, this is not as sweet as the <laughs> milk chocolate bar I had in my Netherlands video. I already forgot the name, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll put a link. Um, this one is not as sweet, and I, I prefer this one. Alright, so that's it. That was a short kind of addendum to my other um, Netherlands video that I did a little while ago. So that was part two. And coming up next, I'm going to be wearing the same outfit. I'm going to do the Tom Pusen video. So I'm going to do um, how to make that and do the taste test for that too. So look for that soon. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And um, yeah, love hearing from you. Leave me comments. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.